How's it going squad? This time we will be exploring the movies of Steve Martin. To date, his movies have made $2.8 billion. Now, it's time to celebrate this wild and crazy guy. Starting with Another Nice Mess Released in 1972 The profit data was missing when this video was compiled. Steve Martin on location with Steve Martin Released in 1976 Financial details were undisclosed during the making of this video. The Absent-Minded Waiter Released in 1977 At the time of this video's production, the revenue data was absent. Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band Released in 1978 It made $20 million. It broke even. The Muppet Movie Released in 1979 it made $65 million. It was a winner. The Jerk. Released in 1979. It made $100 million. It was a hit. Pennies from Heaven. Released in 1981. It made $9 million. It was a flop. Dead Men Don't Wear Plaid. Released in 1982, it made $18 million. It was a big hit. The Man with Two Brains. Released in 1983, we lacked the financial data when this video was assembled. The Lonely Guy. Released in 1984, the profit data was missing when this video was compiled. All of Me, released in 1984. It made $36 million. Success cannot be measured without the necessary budget or revenue data. A. Three Amigos, released in 1986. It made $39 million. It was a success. Little Shop of Horrors, released in 1986. It made $39 million. It was a success. Roxanne, released in 1987. It made $40 million. It was a moneymaker. Planes, Trains and Automobiles, released in 1987. It made $50 million. It was a hit. Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, released in 1988. It made $42 million. It was a hit. Parenthood, released in 1989. It made $126 million. It was a hit. My Blue Heaven, released in 1990. The amount it made was unavailable when we made this video. LA Story, released in 1991. We lacked the financial data when this video was assembled. Father of the Bride, released in 1991. It made $89 million. It was a hit. Grand Canyon, released in 1991. It made $41 million. The success cannot be determined due to missing budget or revenue data. House Sitter, released in 1992. It made $95 million. It was a hit. Leap of Faith, released in 1992. It made $23 million. It was a success. A Simple Twist of Fate, released in 1994. The amount it made was unavailable when we made this video. Mixed Nuts, released in 1994. We couldn't access the earnings information when producing this video. Father of the Bride Part 2, released in 1995. It made $77 million. Success evaluation is hindered by the absence of budget or revenue data. Sergeant Philco, released in 1996. It made $38 million. It broke even. 
The Spanish Prisoner. Released in 1997, it made $14 million. It was a success. The Prince of Egypt. Released in 1998, it made $219 million. It was a big hit. The Out of Towners. Released in 1999, it made $29 million. It didn't make its money back. Bowfinger, released in 1999, it made $99 million. It was a success. The Venice Project, released in 1999. We couldn't access the earnings information when producing this video. Joe Gould's Secret, released in 2000. When this video was made, the revenue information was not obtainable. Saturday Night Live The Best of Steve Martin, released in 2000. Revenue data was not available at the time of this video's creation. Novocaine, released in 2001. It made $2 million. It was a bomb. Bringing Down the House, released in 2003. It made $133 million. It was a big hit. Looney Tunes Back in Action, released in 2003. It made $68 million. It was a dud. Cheaper by the Dozen, released in 2003. It made $190 million. It was a winner. Shop Girl, released in 2005. It made $12 million. It broke even. Cheaper by the Dozen 2. Released in 2005. It made $129 million. It was a moneymaker. The Pink Panther. Released in 2006. It made $159 million. It was a big hit. Baby Mama. Released in 2008. It made $64 million. It was a winner. The Pink Panther 2, released in 2009, it made $76 million. It broke even. It's Complicated, released in 2009, it made $219 million. It was a blockbuster. The Big Year, released in 2011, it made $8 million. It was a dud. Almost Home, released in 2014. The earning figures were not accessible at the time of filming. Home, released in 2015. It made $369 million. It was a blockbuster. Love the Coopers, released in 2015. It made $42 million. It was a winner. Billy Lynn's Long Halftime Walk, released in 2016. It made $31 million. It didn't make a profit. Oh, Hello on Broadway, released in 2017. At the time of this video's production, the revenue data was absent. Father of the Bride Part 3-ish, released in 2020. Income details were unavailable when this video was developed. Thanks for watching our video on Steve Martin. What's your favorite Steve Martin movie? Which actor should we feature next? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe.